Tony Ayala is a month away from his 18th birthday as he takes on longtime veteran Jose Luis Baltazar here. Uh, if you want to see a more detailed video of Ayala Jr., please check out the link in the description box. Uh, I wish I had a sharper version of this bout, but this is the best I could do. Uh, Baltazar is a former Mexican welterweight champion, but he's long past whatever prime he's had, as he's been in the sport almost as long as Ayala Jr. has been alive. Uh, what's of interest here is the power and technique on display by the 17-year-old Ayala Jr. and the fact that he spits on Baltazar after knocking him down for the first time. The, the announcers don't even seem to notice. Uh, Baltazar apparently made the mistake of insulting Ayala Jr.'s mother before the fight, and uh, he's a sacrificial old man here. He's strictly cannon fodder for the up-and-coming Ayala Jr. That go. Ayala with seven straight wins, six knockouts, four of those six knockouts in the first round. And he is in there tonight against a tough veteran who was 16 years old. There's a lot of baby fat on uh, the body of Tony Ayala, but you have to remember that he is a baby yet uh, in, in life, not in ring savvy, but in life. Uh, he's economical in his movement. How uh, both left and right uh, connect with power. Right now, Baltazar is working the body of Ayala. Tony has clipped off a lot of those shots with his arm. Just a minute into the fight. This is a 10-round bout between these two junior middleweights. Less than a minute to go in the opening round. Ayala with a jab. A left hook by Ayala. Another left, a right hand by Ayala. And Ayala is slowly dominating this fight. That jab by Ayala really hurts Balthazar. Balthazar takes a right hand. That shook him up. Less than 30 seconds to go in the round. We're looking at a 17-year-old against a 33-year-old. Baltazar needs to stay right on top of Ayala. Ayala's got the reach on him. He can punch from the outside. And he can punch hard from the outside. A left-right combination by Ayala. A right lead by Ayala. Baltazar in the corner now. Up with a right uppercut of his own, but it missed. 
Left hook by Ayala. Right up and by Ayala. Ayala with the left jab, with the left jab. Balsasar speaking in Spanish, saying, give me some more. Just take a step back and score with punches of his own. Balsasar does not know what backwards means. He only knows one direction, and that's forward. Balsasar lost his mouthpiece early in this round. Right hand by Balsasar connected. Less than a minute to go in the second round. Ayala with his back to the ropes, gets away from the ropes, connects with the right hand. Now it's Balthazar on the ropes. Right hand by Ayala, a lead right. Another right hand on the forehead of Balthazar. Another right hand, another one by Ayala. Ayala with another right hand. That snapped the head of Balthazar, who goes down. Balthazar's on one knee. The count is six, seven. He's up at eight. Balthazar's down, but... He's up again, and now the referee says, okay, let's go ahead and fight. Balthazar beat the count at eight. Plenty of time left in the round. We've got an action fight here in San Antonio. Tony Ayala in the black trunk. Jose Luis Balthazar in the gold, doing a lot of taking. Less than 10 seconds to go in the second round. And there's the power. Balthazar second and stopped the fight, and Balthazar doesn't like it. He is pounding the canvas. He is angry. He is angry at his second for stopping the bout. And Tony Ayala has won with a second round technical knockout. Balthazar is already bleeding from the mouth because he lost his mouthpiece. If he would have kept that mouthpiece in, his mouth wouldn't have uh, cut up and cut up on his teeth. What mystifies me about that move by the second was that there were only maybe three or four seconds remaining in the round. And Balthazar could have survived the round. But he was taking too much punishment. He wasn't even in the fight, and I don't think that Balthazar really wanted to fight. Come over to the corner of Jose Luis.